Have you ever spent more in a month than you plan to on things like groceries or entertainment? Imagine if you never had to worry about overspending in either of those categories again. If you're the type of person who uses a debit card or a credit card to purchase everything from groceries to haircuts, you probably know just how difficult it can be to keep track of your spending during the month. You go to the store every week, grab what you need, swipe your card at the checkout, and you're on your way. Then you look back at the end of the month and realize you spent way more than you ever intended to. If this has ever happened to you, give this video a thumbs up. If you've taken the time in advance to create a monthly spending plan, this can be especially demoralizing. There you are, doing all you can to take control of your money, but somehow it just keeps misbehaving. Sound familiar? If it does, you just gotta try the cash envelope system. So what is this cash envelope system? How does it work? And how is it gonna keep you from spending more than you intend on groceries and entertainment every month? I'm about to answer each of those questions, but before I do, I wanna remind you to subscribe to my channel for more personal finance tips, just like this one. It only takes one click, and it really helps this channel grow. Thanks. All right, so first, let's talk about what the cash envelope system is and how it works. It's really a simple system, but it does require you to make a spending plan in advance, at least for certain areas of spending. If you wanna learn how to create a detailed monthly budget, or as I like to call it, a spending plan, I'll leave a link to my budgeting for beginners video in the description so you can check it out. Once you have your plan in place, you wanna look for categories and places you spend money every month that will accept cash. Some possibilities are groceries, cleaning supplies, restaurants, and fun activities. The easiest and most common use for the cash envelope system is groceries. So if you're new to the system, this is the one category I suggest you start with. At the beginning of every month, you stop by the bank and take out cash, equal to the amount you plan to spend on each of these categories. If you plan to spend $400 on groceries this month, you would take out $400 in cash and put it in the envelope marked groceries. Whenever you go to the grocery store, pay using the cash inside that envelope. Don't use your debit card, don't use your credit card, and don't use any other cash. Side note, some people like to bring the entire envelope to the grocery store with them, but I don't like carrying around that much cash, especially at the beginning of the month when the envelope gets refilled. So I usually take about 100 bucks out of the envelope and put it in my wallet before I go to the store and put the change back in the envelope later. If you do bring the entire envelope, be careful. I heard a story once from someone who lost their entire envelope at the grocery store the first shopping trip of the month. That is not a fun way to lose several hundred dollars. So what happens when there's no cash left in the envelope? Simple, no more spending in that category for the month. If you're out of grocery money and there's still a few days left in the month, it's time to raid the pantry. I've been there once before and it's not the end of the world. In our house, we have one envelope for groceries and a second envelope for our date fund. This includes everything from mini golf to movie tickets to dinner at restaurants. Throughout the process of paying off our debts, the only cash that has ever made it to the date fund envelope was the cash left over from the grocery envelope the month before. That really helped us keep our spending on entertainment to a minimum while we paid off debt. What do you think of the cash envelope system? Is it worthwhile? Or do you think it's just not worth the hassle? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Shear, and I'll see you next time.